everyone, it is the Blue Brain Teacher here. You can call me Miss Selma. I am here to show you how to use this really cool online classroom called Zoom. Now, once you join um, the classroom with your teacher, you're going to see yourself, not me. I won't be there. <laughs> you can, you're going to see yourself, all your classmates and your teacher in this kind of grid. Now, if you don't want to see this kind of grid, you can switch the view to gallery view and all your friends will be here on the top and you will see whoever is talking here in the center. So you can decide how you want to do that. Right now I'm going to do a side by side. I am on my phone, which is on the left hand side of the screen, and I am on my computer on the right hand side of the screen. So that is why you see two of me. That's my phone, that's my phone, and that's my computer. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about this bar down here, okay? This is the important part of the whole understanding of the whole digital classroom. So down here, there's a mute. So if you're having some kind of um, feedback or there's noise and when, while your teacher is talking, all you're gonna do is press mute, and when you're, then your teacher continue talking. And um, when you want to talk, you're going to just unmute yourself. Okay? Super easy. Okay? So that's the most important thing. Another thing, if you need to stop video for any reason, you can click stop video and that will stop your video. And then you can come back and restart it here. Okay? Now moving on into the center. You're not gonna probably see breakout rooms. You're not gonna have that on yours, but you are gonna have participants. So if you click participants, you're gonna see all your friends here from the classroom. And you can um, click chat and you'll be able to chat with them. So chat was right here. And you can say, hi everyone. And that goes to everyone. If you want to send somebody a private message, you would just click the down button and send them a message privately. So that's how the chat works. And now this part is really important because um, your teacher will decide how you're going to use it. But there is a, and that you find that by clicking the participants area, there's a yes. There is a no, a go slower because if your teacher is moving too fast or if another student is talking too fast and you need them to go a little slower, that's how you could tell everyone that you need something said again or you need to go a little slower. And I'm not really sure how you're gonna use go faster, but you might. And then here under more, you have a thumbs down just in case you do some class voting a thumbs up and a clap. If you need a break, you can click that. And if for some reason you're away from your computer, you can click that so well now. So if you are away from a computer, you can easily click away and then turn off your video so everyone will know that you are not there. Okay, so that is that. That is all you need to know for the bottom bar. Next, I am going to show you something really cool. Okay, now I wanna show you something really cool and something that you're gonna probably do in your classroom. And it, it, it's going to happen when your teacher is working with you with a Google slide. So let's say the teacher shares with you a slide let's do that right now huh if you go all the way to the top you're gonna see a bar and on the bar it's not gonna look just like this one but all you need to do is press annotate and that's gonna let you do all these cool things on the slide with your teacher so let's say you want to type you're just gonna click text you're gonna come over here and you're gonna type let's say we're gonna type the site word thought so maybe your teacher will tell um, one of your friends to come over to number one and type the and for number two um, choose a different student to go in and type that's how you would do it you would just click the text tool bring it over here 
and type the. You can change it. You can change the format by going over to format and choosing a different size. You can change the, you can make it bold. So there's all kinds of fun things that you can do over here. Okay, so that's the type tool. Let's do it again. So you're going to click type, come over here, type, uh, let's type tree. And we're good with tree. Let's say that we want it. Let's say we want to change that. Let's select it. Go over to format. Let's make it red. Oopsies. Clear. All right, let's go back and type tree. Okay, and that is how the type tool works. Let's clear uh, everything and go on to the next slide. So to do that, I'm going to have to stop annotating and move there. Now I'm going to go click annotate again, and I want to show you the draw tool. So you click the draw tool again, you know, if you want to change the color or whatever you do, it's always easier to do that first. So come over to format, choose what you want. Let's say we're going to do a purple rectangle and um, maybe your teacher will ask one student to draw in the gray box and another student to draw in a green box. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that rectangle. Rectangles have one side that's longer than the other side. Not bad. That's not bad. There's a stamp tool and we have an arrow, a check mark, an X, a star, a heart, and a question mark. And we could use those to point things out, to talk about things to say, yeah, that's right, that's right. To say no, no, no. To say we love it. And question mark when we're not sure of something. So I showed you all of those. Now a spotlight tool. When I'm showing you, the spotlight tool allows you to talk about something while you're showing it. Okay, so those are all the things that you can do in Zoom, your new digital classroom. And if you have any questions, your teacher will give you more direction when you're in class. So have a great day.